everyone, and welcome to the Wine Review. I'm Ryan, the Wine Guy, bringing you tonight a French wine. Uh, are we really getting into those Frenchies as I as I said I would? I said this year I want to do more French wines, and I want to do more Italian. Italian wines I kind of have to work on, but. I've got one coming up here next week, maybe Tuesday next week. I'll do that for you all. But today's wine is a French Bordeaux. It is Chateau Bellevue. I'll show you all because I know I'm pronouncing it maybe wrong. Focus. Does I want to focus? Oh, that, yeah, yeah. Focus. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. There we go. 2014 Bordeaux Superior. And as with all Bordeaux's, practically they are. It is um, it is um, a basically a red blend. We're looking at forty six percent Merlot, twenty five percent Cabernet Sauvignon, seventeen percent Malbec, ooh, and twelve percent Cabernet Franc. Ketchup! Yay! Ketchup! Yum 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 yum. Um, hey, who knows? Uh, I've actually read some reviews about this wine. It says there's some tomato smell in it. So we'll see if this wine smells like ketchup. And again, for those of you watching on YouTube, I'm doing this Facebook Live. So people are writing stuff. And ketchup is an inside joke. I may have said it, may have said the joke one time, but uh, I'm just going to refer you all to. Uh, Yes, definitely. Thank you. I'm going to refer you all to Pulp Fiction when Uma, Uma Thurman uh, does her ketchup joke. So that's pretty much the joke. So just anyway, built in the 17th century, Chateau, the Chateau Bellevue has been owned by the Pontan de Amcourt family. I know I totally butchered their names. I'm sorry. Um, but forgive me, since 1973. Interestingly, in 1861, their ancestor, Gustave, invented the helicopter. This classic entrée de, de mers is produced using traditional methods. And it is bottled by SCEA Famille de Amacourt. It is imported by Esprit Duvin. It is 12.5% alcohol by volume. It is probably, I don't know. I would say you can easily get it for $15 or less. Don't quite know how much I pay for it myself. Um... Something I'm going to start doing for you all is putting my personal Vivino account link in the description. So you can all resort back to that. And as well, um, I do drink wines on occasion and not do a review. Either I'm out at a restaurant and I try wine or I have a bottle at home and I just don't feel like doing a review. It doesn't mean that I don't like it. It just means I'm drinking a bottle and I just am like, I don't really feel like doing a review. So um, I've got a lot more wines on my Vivino account than I've actually done video reviews. Okay, now that that's all taken care of, I am going to get right into it with the wine. I uh, kind of... Not, I mean, it is it is a dark wine. I'll, I'll give you that. It's um, 
very hard to see through. So it, it is pretty dark, pretty, pretty purplish in the middle. A little bit of ruby on the uh, outer layer, but definitely really, I would say, uh, deep purple uh, all throughout. Uh, classic Bordeaux. Uh, definitely get that earth on there. Hmm. Plum, easily plum. You know, I, I would say, I would say you do get a little bit of uh, tomato on this. Kind of like a plump Roma tomato, if you just imagine slicing a fresh tomato uh, from your local farmer's market. So I got that earth, as I mentioned, at plum, tomato. There's a slight bit of smokiness to this, probably coming off of the Malbec. And the earth from the fr Cab Franc, but also just because it's a Bordeaux type wine. I'm getting a little bit of blackberries in there. I'm getting like a little bit of oak. Not like oak oak, but. I want to say just like a hint of chocolate. Maybe some light, very mild light spices. All right, I'm going to try it. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, oh, man. Well, it is definitely lively of fruit on the palate. I can tell you that. Uh, you really are getting those, uh, whew, wow, that, that plum is really sticking out. Um, maybe a little bit of hidden blackberry. Maybe some red berries coming up on the finish. Definitely very fruit forward. You get a little bit of mild, mild earth in there. Very, uh, uh, it, it, it is on the acidic side. I don't want to say it's terribly acidic, but if you're not one who likes acidic -y wines uh, if you don't really like having the acid in there um, this is not for you finishing very dry and finishing very quickly there's a little bit of lingering on there not Terribly much. I'm not getting some of the things I was getting on the nose, like a chocolate or any spices. I'm not really getting many spicy notes at all on this or really any spices at all on this. And it's pretty much finishing, the, the finish is gone. Um, it is a smooth wine, so it's not a very high tannin wine, it's definitely more of a high acidic wine, but doable if you're into those kind of wines. Strong nose, and strong on the start. 
but I would say kind of a weak finish. And there's also a lot on a lot that I'm getting on the nose that I kind of wish I was getting in the glass. But really what, what I'm getting in the glass is just total fruit bomb and then finishing dry. So all in all, it's not it's not terrible. Let's just say that. It's good, it's nice and enjoyable, nice to drink on a long, hard day after you get uh, home from work like I did. Um, well, it wasn't a hard day, but you know, it's, it's a long day, you, get, you know. Um, R with food. This is definitely something I would definitely recommend with food if you're not one of those that is prepared to drink an acidic wine or doesn't like acidic acidic key wines by themselves this is definitely good with food I would say mild mild spicy foods I, if that makes any sense not not really because mild and spicy are um, completely um, antonyms um, so milder spicy food. So I'm not talking about like, you know, you just drench it with like 10 alarm, triple X, W, Y, X, Z, um, uh, wings, you know, um, but I would say if you're putting maybe some Some chili or light cayenne, not like total cayenne, but maybe a tad bit of cayenne, just a tad bit of maybe pepper. So something that's a dish that has flavor, but it's not bland. So that's kind of what I'm going at. De definitely a flavorful uh, dinner, but don't go too spicy, but also don't just make it very bland so with that uh, I'm gonna show you all it one more time it's a pretty bottle it's just a, it's just a lovely bottle it is like the, the best bottle you've ever seen in your entire life Chateau Bellevue I mean look at it I mean you've got a pretty castle you know I mean look look I mean, I mean, look at that wall. That is a huge wall for that castle. I mean, that's that's the kind of wall we like to see. Um, yes, I'm making a Trump joke. Um, I'm going to give this a three and a half. Um, I could definitely see maybe this aging some more. After all, it is 2014. I would like to see this age at least another three to five years. Maybe things will start to kick in. Maybe uh, maybe you'll start to notice a difference in um, the palate matching more of the nose, the, um, the acid and the tannins becoming more evolved together. Right now, I just say it's a good wine. It's not a great wine. It's not a fantastic wine. But it's not, it's not, it's not a good wine. It, it, it is, it's, um, it is, oh no, it, it, it's not an okay wine. It, it's a good wine. It's not great, but it's not okay. It's good. It's better than okay. I would definitely like to share this bottle with friends. And I didn't even realize I was going on this long because I've just been rambling, 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 doing Trump jokes. Uh, but with that, um, three and a half out of five. I hope you can find this. It's a French wine, so look in your French section. And until next time, everyone, I am Ryan the Wine Guy. Cheers.